Oh man, this Titan's blasting away us. Oh my gosh, lighten this dude up. Come on, baby, let's get in close. Oh, we got the Titan Slayer, baby. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, we got a big injury in our face now. We gotta be careful. Can we get this Seraph? Come on, baby, lighten him up. Hit him with that ability. Can we get him? Taking him down. Boom! We get the living legend. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time it is in your neck of the woods. This is Tony, and welcome to today's video. So today we're going to be showcasing, highlighting, playing, and slaying with the brand new Lynx robot with the brand new stake weapons. Let's check out this setup and build we're going to be using today. Brand new Lynx robot. Let's take a look to see all exactly what it does. We have two different abilities on there. One is Ferocity, the robot gains movement speed and goes into stealth mode. An additional weapon is activated that can instantly destroy an enemy with a low level of durability. Link's Force Field, the robot has defense that partially blocks the damage taken. The level of protection decreases as the damage is received. The Force Field recharges after Lynx takes no damage for a certain amount of time. So just like the Nether and Seraph. So Ferocity at 25% of the enemy's durability, you can have instant destruction of a robot, and at 15% of the enemy's, enemy's durability, you can destruct a Titan. So very, very amazing. The speed of 70 kilometers per hour. Here are our weapons. They bypass energy shields and give you a 20,000 Aegis shield. I'm gonna be honest with you, I played with these yesterday. I was not very impressed at all right off the bat, but we are gonna be using the nuclear amplifier and two repair amplifiers on there. We for our pilot, we have Feline Prowl, Link's ability. Duration is increased by two seconds. We're using Adamant Guardian, Armor Expert, Stubborn Warrior, Engine Experts, Destroyer, which we don't need, Dodger, and Roadhog. For our drone, we have the brand new Kestrel. Um, very, very awesome drone. Close range death mark effector. 25% extra damage taken by the enemy. 1400 damage for the application this is 300 meter range and there's three and a half second reload time this is continuous for anybody you are looking at you have an additional seven percent damage you have 20 percent on kill speed and 25 percent on kill fix uh 10 percent gray repairable damage which is actually huge a very 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 awesome drone i must say without further ado let's hop on right into the mayhem and see how this bad mamma jamma purrs out on the battlefield don't forget we have the 200 evora and veyron giveaway going on right now you can enter on that video and every single video until the 21st which means you can enter on this video as well hashtag tony 100 evora or Hashtag Tony 100 Veyron along with your pilot ID and platform to be entered. Drop it down in the comments. Wish you guys all the best of luck. Starting off quick here with the Lynx uh, with our stake weapons. Cruising and perusing on up. Starting to get some fire. We're going to back on up and try to strategically take on these encounters until we can get our nuclear amplifier charged up. I noticed that is the biggest problem when rocking these new weapons. Getting that nuclear amp charged up. But once you do get that thing charged up, oh my gosh, it's going to get ugly for the Reds out there. As you can see, we just took down that Blitz no problem at all. He had no answer, no response to anything we were doing to him. As a matter of fact, I don't even think he knew where he was getting hit from because he just kept running. He never even turned around and looked at us. Let's take a look over at Center Beacon here. Let's see what we got going. Let's see if we can blast through this mars's shield i think it only works for the blue shield oh no 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 it's working baby it's working come on baby blasting through oh my gosh we took out a ton of damage look at how much damage we just took no bueno no bueno no bueno guys all right let's get a little oh man oh man now we got a fender on our face this is going to be ugly this is going to be a good test of this robot to see what it's made of let's back on up oh we got to be careful of this seraph as well we are taking on a lot of damage quick here which is not good all right, blasting away at this guy. Let's see if we could do some good damage to him, man. He doesn't seem to be taking a ton of damage, but he is taking some damage. But his rust weapons are just tearing us to smithereens right now. We are in a very precarious state. We got to watch ourselves. Hitting that heal one more time. Trying to get us a little bit more life. Oh, man, I don't think we're going to be able to kill this guy. Let me go behind this wall. Let my ability come back, and let's try to kill him with our ability. All right, blasting away at him. I want to get him down, make sure he's below 25%, and then I'm going to hit my ability. 
And let's see if we can get a kill with that ability. There we go, baby. Just hit it. Oh, wait a minute. It didn't kill him. Oh, there he goes. He's out of there, baby. Triple kill. That's what I'm talking about. So I don't know. I have to do more testing with this, but it seemed like that ferocity should have killed him, but it didn't. Uh, let's keep on playing and see what we can do. Look at the damage that Kepri just took. Unreal, dude. We are on a rumpage, rumpage already. Jeez, Louise, Papa Cheese. Dude, he just spawned a brand new robot, and we absolutely wiped him off the face of the map. That was craziness. All right, let's wait until this Seraph lands and try to get a couple good shots on him. He's getting hung up on the wall, sending some shots, but he's got his stealth rocking right now. Can we get him? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Trying to get one more shot. Can we take him out of there? Boom, we get the kill. That's what I'm talking about. Uh-oh. Aether in the sky. We need to be careful. That dude can take us out in the blink of an eye. This robot does not have a ton of HP, so you want to be utilizing the Paladin Mothership to restore some of that blue, that gray healing. Oh, man. Look at this Aether blasting away. Hitting that ability. Boom, we get the Titan Slayer. Took that Titan out with the Ferocity ability. That is super, super crazy, guys. Let's go back and grab this home beacon to make sure these beacons don't get away from us here. Come on, a Kepri again. We know what this thing could do to Kepri's. This guy's taking a ton of damage. Triple kill. Oh, my gosh. This build eats Kepri's for breakfast, dude. Oh, I was hoping to get that Miramets as well, but we were not able to get that kill, unfortunately. All right, let's slide on up. All right, we got this Aether over here. He's going to be dropping down any second. I can feel it. Let's see if we can get the kill on him. There's our ability coming up right now. Plusing it. Yes, we get the Titan Slayer. Oh, this thing is super, super awesome. Man, yesterday I was playing with this robot in this exact same setup, and I was not having great results at all. I wonder if they buffed up the weapons, because yesterday the weapons were not doing this good, man. I swear they were not. Yes, we are on the godlike, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get all up in this guy's face like a can of me. See what we can do. Uh-oh, we got a luchador spawning in. That is trouble, 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 guys. We need to be very, very careful. Let's see what we can do to this Seraph really quickly before this luchador jumps all in our face and starts blasting us away with his shotties. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Blasting away at this Titan. Boom! We get the Titan Slayer, baby. That's what I'm talking about. This thing is a freaking masterpiece. Hawking this Seraph down, blasting away. Come on, baby. Can we take him down? Brrr, boom! Living legend. Holy cow. We are going on a one-man wrecking spree. Another Titan Slayer. Holy crap, dude. What am, what am I witnessing right now, dude? We almost got all the Titans, man. If we would have got that Miramets earlier, too. Jeez, Louise, Papa Cheese. This thing is freaking amazing. Holy cow. I love the skin of this one. It looks like the Stellar, but then it has that extra defense ability. It's got that blue lit, lit up on it, so it looks even cooler. This is an amazing, amazing setup, man. So, so awesome. But the crazy thing, like I was saying, is I was playing this yesterday, and I was not getting very good results at all. So I'm going to have to continue playing and testing uh, to see exactly why or what's going on. But let's take a look at the scoreboard, ladies and gentlemen, and see what we got going. Holy cow. That's all I got to say about this, man. 5.7, 12 kills, 3 beacons. Not too shabby. Appreciate you guys so much. Hope everybody has a great day and keep coming back.